Welcome back to my series, Dance Moms Uncovered. This week I'm shedding light on Brooke's cheerleading days back in season two of Dance Moms. The show portrays it like she quits dance and abandons her team to try out for cheerleading. All this happens in season two, episode three of Dance Moms, which aired on the 24th of January, 2012. Lots of people said that Brooke was throwing away her dancing talent and abandoning her team in the middle of the competition season. Well, let's just say that there could be more to that week than the producers cared to show. Online, there have been many posts claiming that Brooke's cheerleading was just for the show and that the producers made it all up. I decided to find the evidence for this claim myself. People have been saying that Brooke revealed this in a Q&A, but I spent hours watching all of Brooke's Q&As that I could find, and I didn't find any evidence of this. If this footage exists and you know where I can find it, please let me know. Feel free to share your thoughts on the following evidence I did manage to find. Evidence number one, the fake tryouts. In the episode, Brooke is shown trying out for a cheer team at Franklin Regional Elementary, which is a local school in Pittsburgh. There are several things about this scene that make the whole thing seem fake. First of all, one of the judges is rumoured to be the tutor who taught all the Dance Moms girls while filming was taking place. Her name is Audra Adams, and she is very close with the cast, especially the Highlands. There are tons of photos of them together, and Brooke and Paige were even in her wedding. She is involved in the Franklin Regional Cheer Team, so it's possible that she could have been the one to help the producers organise this cheer tryout for the show. Also, if you look closely, you can tell that the judges are just pretending to write things down. At the end of this scene, Brooke is called out last, super dramatically. Number eight. And number 24. And look at the page that the judge is holding. It's only got a couple of numbers scribbled down. My second piece of evidence are some tweets I found. As I was digging through Twitter, I stumbled across a tweet from the 4th of August 2011 from the Twitter user Kaylee Kindler. She claimed that Brooke was cheering with her, which was weird because season two hadn't aired yet and Brooke had barely mentioned cheer in season one. At first, I didn't really think much of it, but then I hit a dead end in my research and decided to follow it up. As it turns out, Kaylee cheered for the FCA Gems in Pittsburgh. After further digging, I found a tweet from Shelby, who claimed that Brooke actually made their Diamonds team, but wasn't allowed to cheer because of the show. Then I found pictures of Brooke in the uniform for FCA Gems, which pretty much confirms that these tweets were true. My third piece of evidence is the actual timeline. The first tweet I mentioned about Brooke trying out for cheer was posted in August 2011. Season 1 of Dance Moms had already wrapped up filming around the 21st of July, which was when the ALDC attended its final competition, and the first competition of Season 2 wasn't until October 24th. It seems as though Brooke tried out for cheerleading between the two seasons, so that she wouldn't disrupt the rest of the group. I researched how long the football cheer season lasts, and online it says August to November, According to the timeline of the show, she wouldn't have started cheer until November, and by then the season's practically over. Furthermore, in Pyramid during Season 2, Episode 1, Abby claims that Brooke was skipping class. Brooke, why are you on the bottom of this pyramid? You had a great season, but then you took a break. You didn't show up to class. All this suggests that Brooke waited until the break to cheer, so by Season 2 she'd already gotten to try it. Evidence number four, her Dance Moms contract. Now I could do a whole other episode on how the Highlands were trapped under their lifetime contracts, but here is the basic story. Several cast members have revealed that at first they were only contracted to make six episodes. It was only supposed to be for six weeks, six episodes. But when it was picked up by Lifetime, the contract changed so that the cast were forced to stay for six seasons. Why do you not pull out of Abby Lee's and go to another dance studio? We have contracts. Our contract expires in season six. So I am just finishing season three. So I still have three more seasons to go. Kelly struggled with Lifetime producers over wanting to leave the show for years because her daughters were just recreational dancers and they were suffering for an industry they didn't necessarily want to work in. We have to get out of here. <coughs> 
have to get out of here. <laughs> the producers even threatened to sue Kelly for everything that she had if she broke her contract. Eventually, it was the fight in season four, followed by arrest warrants, several lawsuits and restraining orders that broke the Highlands free of their contract. There's just no way that the producers would let Brooke quit Dance for Cheer. Evidence number five, the producers want a drama. In season two, episode one of Dance Moms, Leslie and Peyton auditioned to become members of the ALDC Junior Elite Competition Team. When Peyton didn't make it, Leslie shouted at Abby. The producers would have loved this drama and might have wanted to bring them back as soon as possible. Peyton and Leslie made for great drama on the show, especially when it appears that they are replacing Brooke. When the producers found out that Brooke tried out for cheerleading, maybe they decided to stage a tryout so that Peyton and Leslie could show up and cause trouble. I believe that the producers set this whole storyline up and probably told Brooke that she could have a week off. They never actually show her practicing as part of the team, and a week later she decides to quit cheer. She probably just spent the time catching up on schoolwork and hanging out with friends. But let me know what you think. Do you think the producers faked the cheerleading tryout? If you have any other evidence for this issue, please let me know. See you guys next week. Bye!